Hello again guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the newly released Rex Aki Season. Rex Aki Season aims to bring a little bit more seasonal variation into Microsoft Flight Simulator, something which is sorely lacking in the sim currently. We're going to be carrying out a brief review of the product, we'll start by looking at the application itself, we'll take a look at the UI and the various options available. We'll then take a look at some side by side comparisons between the sim in its default state and with Rex Aki Season installed. And then finally we'll finish up the review with a few additional points and my thoughts and opinions on the product. As always guys I do hope you enjoyed the video and find it to be of use. If you do please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. As you can see we're cruising over a very pretty and autumnal UK at the moment. Let's now open up the Rex Aki Season app and I'll show you what it's all about. Okay so after starting up the Rex Aki Season program we come in towards the main menu where we have the option to select between the four main seasons. Of course we have spring, summer, fall or autumn depending on which part of the world you're from and winter. Between each main season we also have a number of presets. So for example here you can see we have Celtic Spring, Morning Dew, Serenity and Spring Has Sprung and we have a few example screenshots as to the type of scenery that we're expecting to see. Quickly flicking through each of the main seasons you can see that overall the presets do make quite a nice difference to the sim. Obviously we'll take a bit more of a look at that later on. So that's the main functionality in terms of the application if you want to do things manually. Of course I think many, certainly myself, would prefer to have things automated. So to do that we can go on to the automation setting. Quite an interesting way that the program works, we can obviously select Enable Accuses and Automated Dynamic Seasons. This causes the application to schedule a daily Windows task to dynamically install presets based upon your location. I'm not quite sure what that's basing that around, whether that's your PC location or your sim location. Obviously the sim location much more liable to change on a daily basis. You can disable that at any point though and you can then manually change your season based on the month. I think that would be my preferred option rather than having to run a daily Windows task. So currently of course we're in December, we'll select December for the purposes of our test and currently 16th of December so we'll go 14th to the 20th. You can see that the app is now compiling the selected seasons and that should cover out the entire world of Microsoft Flight Simulator with appropriate seasonal textures. It will actually differentiate between the northern and southern hemisphere as well which is really nice to see. Anyway the compiling is complete quite quick. We'll hit finish and now we should be ready to head into the sim. Just before we do that though we'll look at the settings available from the program. A few nice options here, we first have the ability or really the requirement to select our sim version and currently I have the custom community folder location selected as my community folder located outside of the usual area within the sim. We can choose to manually check for updates to Rex AccuSeason. We can also toggle automatic updates on and off. So the settings on the left really related to the more technical aspects of the program. On the right we have some slightly more interesting options in terms of how we want the sim to actually look. We have options to select the colour tone of the vegetation between cool, neutral and warm. I'm going for neutral in today's test. Next we have the ability to change tree height, as you can see, short, default or tall. Quite interesting there, I think the trees in Microsoft Flight Simulator, as with most sims, are a little bit oversized. We'll go with default again though for today's purposes. And lastly a nice option I think, we have the deciduous tree canopy type. We can go for round which will give us a fairly uniform height for all of the trees as we generally see in the sim. Or we can go for a regular and Rex Aki Season will give us various tree heights throughout the canopy. Lastly we have a restore function to remove Aki Season from the community folder. So quite a straightforward application, fairly simple in terms of how it works. Overall though I think the UI is very nice, that's usually the case from Rex. Obviously what we're really interested to see though is how nice of a job it actually does at recreating the seasons in the sim. To do that we'll head into Microsoft Flight Simulator and we'll do some side by side comparisons between default and Rex Aki Season in various locations around the world.
So hopefully those side-by-side -side comparisons help to demonstrate a little bit what Rex AccuSeason has to offer in the sim. Bear in mind there that we did select December as our current date, so expecting to see winter foliage in the northern hemisphere and summer foliage in the southern hemisphere at the moment. Overall I would say that the effect produced by Rex AccuSeason is quite nice, although it can be quite subtle under certain conditions. I noticed fairly moderate differences between the summer and the spring textures versus the sim's default textures. And of course the sim is really set up for summer by default so that makes sense. Certainly though with the autumnal textures a fairly noticeable difference there between Rex AccuSeason and the default sim state. Obviously a lot more trees and foliage with a brown or orange hue to them, really making the season feel much more realistic, much more alive. I was a bit surprised though to see with the Sweden shots, particularly given the time of the year, that we're still seeing fairly autumnal colours on the trees there. For anyone currently in Sweden, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I would imagine by now all the leaves have shed from the trees, so winter textures perhaps not quite as strong with the product as the autumnal ones. So really the main thing that you'll be getting with the product is of course the change in foliage and the seasonal effects. Rex does have a few other tricks up its sleeve though, some of which work quite nicely. The product also purports to update regional vegetation, for example, some parts of the United States within the sim have had conifer forests replaced with deciduous trees. New biomes have also been created within the sim to display things such as tundra, Australian scrubland or New Zealand vegetation. Although as we saw from my examples, not a hugely noticeable difference there, but obviously it will depend somewhat on exactly where you're flying geographically within a country. Rex have stated that obviously updating regional vegetation is a pretty large effort, so they do intend to make many further improvements to the product going forward. We previously discussed that there is an option to adjust tree height within the sim, both short, medium and tall. Medium is the default tree height, short is 25% smaller and tall 25% larger. I think that's a nice option, it obviously allows you to bring the trees down to a more realistic size should you wish. We did have the deciduous irregular shaped canopy option selected throughout our examples there. Again I didn't notice too much difference between the effect and the default sim state. And in terms of colour tone, again we went neutral there, but overall I think it's quite nice to have the option to change that out. We have cool or warm as well. And that's pretty much it in terms of what the package actually offers. It's certainly worth noting that you won't be getting any seasonal variations to your ground textures. AccuSeason really does just focus around vegetation. You can see looking at Rex's promotional materials that there are some conditions under which you'll notice more of a contrast in the sim versus the default state. And once again, as I said just a moment ago, certain geographical locations and certain seasons, you'll notice more contrast versus others. All in all, I do like the product and I do think it has some benefit within Microsoft Flight Simulator. I do have a couple of reservations about it though. Firstly, it's of course not Rex's fault, but it's a bit of a shame that we have to purchase a third party application to have seasons within the sim. Most major flight simulators have them by default. I believe seasons are also slated for Microsoft Flight Simulator at a later date, so it might be worth holding off purchasing AccuSeason unless you're very keen to have the seasonal functionality sooner rather than later. Whilst I do like the product and I'm sure I'll continue to use it, overall I think it's a little bit pricey for what it gives you. £20 is only a little bit cheaper than the Baijan Habashi 4 season pack for the sim. I haven't actually tried that one myself but I hear pretty rave reviews from everybody else and certainly it offers a lot more functionality than AccuSeason. Anyway, a little something for you to consider there, I'll leave a link to both products down in the description below. Once again, overall I do like the AccuSeason program from Rex, I think it's a nice addition to the sim. If you are happy to fork out £20, I don't think you'll be too disappointed. The program is very much the sort of thing I would expect from Rex in terms of it's a very slick, very easy to use UI. It would perhaps be nice though to have some sort of master Rex program so that we can use Weather Force and AccuSeason together. Otherwise it's going to get to the point where we're having to open up multiple apps before we actually start up the sim, which could obviously get a little bit tedious. Anyway, a fairly quick review for you there today, but again, overall the scope of the product is not vast. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video, and once again I do hope you found it to be of use. If you did, then please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more content from the channel, then please consider subscribing as well. As ever, a huge thank you to my channel members and patrons for all of your support. Very much appreciated. I hope that all of you are having a great day wherever you are. Take really good care, and I will see you all again soon.